Our conversation with Faith Kennelly today around diversity, equity, and inclusion begs the question, what is DEI? It's a conceptual framework designed to promote and implement full and fair participation of all people, including those historically underrepresented, unfairly treated, or historically disadvantaged. It is underpinned by core human values of equity, of inclusion and dignity, where we acknowledge the inherent value and worth of each and every human being. Lessons from faith help us better understand the South African context, large corporations driving change and transformation. We better understand the conceptual framework, the different aspects that we need to focus on in driving and implementing diversity, equity and inclusion. But in order to beat the odds and create sustainable competitive advantage, the missing magical ingredient lies in a conversation I had with Faith several years ago. For DI to work, we need to move beyond ticking the boxes. We need to move beyond developing and implementing the conceptual framework. What we need to do is to create a new culture and give people, all people, a strong sense of belonging, of feeling safe, supported, accepted, and included. I recently watched a much cherished sports movie drama, a real life drama, which features the Academy Award winning actress Sandra Bullock and it's called The Blind Game. It's the real life story of Michael Orr, a talented black kid who was born and raised in the poverty-stricken streets and neighborhood in the conservative, non-liberal city of Memphis in Tennessee in the United States of America. Michael gained admission to a top Christian school because of his ball game talent, but he was always the outsider. And then life intervened. He was taken in and later adopted by the Tuhi family a white, wealthy, conservative Christian family with strong moral courage. And he was mentored by the matriarch, the fearless matriarch of the family, Leanne Tuhi. Despite the movie's critics and concerns around racial stereotyping, their misjudgment of his lack of quality education and perceiving that as a lack of intelligence and the way they depicted adoption the real power of the story reveals to us the missing magical ingredient in DEI, and that is giving people a strong sense of belonging, all people, the advantaged and disadvantaged alike. When Michael came into this family, yes, there was the extra skills development, but most importantly, what he experienced was loving human kindness, was bold moral courage. They had his back and was the strong sense of family belonging. You're one of us. You're part of the inner circle. You too are protected and can feel safe, supported, accepted, and included. Michael went on to beat the odds. He upskilled his low grades and ultimately graduated at the University of Mississippi or Ole Miss, as they call it. He became the star performer in the school football team, and he received multiple college offers to play for multiple colleges and their football teams around the country. He also went on to play in the NFL, the National Football League. The real confirmation and revelation was affirmed by the real Michael Orr, who published his own book, his biography called I Beat the Odds. And he said, these are my family. Without them, I would not be here. 